guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the underwater effect like this. Now, of course, I'm talking about the audio. You guys notice how whenever the camera went underwater and our perception is that we're underwater, you notice that the audio matched and that it seemed like, you know, we were underwater listening to what music would sound like above water if you were underwater. So it's just a cool editing technique that you can use to really improve your video edits um, via audio. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Let me show you guys how you can real quickly and simply do this right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So you'll notice here on my timeline here, I have a couple of clips and I have an audio track. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scrub forward in the video to the point to where you transition from above water to below water. So right at about, I'd say about that point right there is where we're going to want to do a cut. Now here I am editing on an Apple on a Mac, so it is Command K. And you'll notice that we splice or cut our audio right there. Then we want to find the next spot to where um, we are back above water, so we can make the we can change the audio again from what it sounds like underwater to above water. So I will swim up here, and about right at this point is where we want to do another cut. Again, Command K on Apple or Mac. I'm going to split it right there. So now you'll see we have this portion right here is going to be above water. This portion right here is going to be below water and then back above water. So now what we need to do at this point is we need to click on the area we want the audio to be sounding like it's below water. And then come over here and click on effects. And then we're going to type in low, L-O-W, and we're looking for this low pass right here. We're going to click on it, hold, and drag it on to this audio file right here, this part that we want to sound like it's underwater or muted or muffed. And so... As you can see, we get this value here, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change. I'm going to click on that part we want change, and I like it right around anywhere from 350 to about 600. I've experimented and found that it sounds the best, so I'm going to do it right at 500. And then you guys will notice that when we play it, And see how it changes so and then another little just an extra tidbit as a little trick or tip so the cut won't be so harsh what you can actually do is you can right click right where this line is and you can click apply default transitions which the default transition for audio is just a crossfade now I don't want it fading that long so I'm gonna click and drag and make it a little bit more of a short uh, transition same thing right click apply default transitions and then go to the edge here till it changes and then shorten it up a little bit and then it just kinds of make it not such a you know harsh cut and so anyways guys that's it right there of course it's going to sound different with different beats different music depending on what you're using for your music but that's all there is to it if you enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that thumbs up button also please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss any future uploads as always guys i enjoyed it this is dylan i will have more adobe premiere pro videos upcoming in the future so be on the lookout i appreciate it guys